Hello and welcome to the fourth part of the XCAM tutorial video. Um, the last function I had shown in the last part was uh, restricted movement. And the first thing I want to show you in this part is a little example about in this function. Okay, let's go. And the first thing, switch to object layer. And now I have to load this project. And here you can see uh, a short sidewalk. And now I want to place some lamps along this sidewalk. So with this function it's very easy. First I have to find the lamp. This one, okay. And the first action I have to do now is find the right orientation for the lamp. So you know it's easy, set the focus to any object of the sidewalk, press the top key and again until you have found the right direction, place the object to the first position. Now I have to change the copy direction by pressing Q to this direction, press C to copy one lamp now press and hold down the Y key to set the restricted movement to the Y axis. Now I move the lamp to the end of the sidewalk. Create another copy. Press and hold down Y again. I think that position is maybe the middle position and the last action I have to do is press the insert key to save this last object and that's all. The next function I want to show you is the grid moving function and with this function you can move the objects within the grid size of the bounding box. And to work with this function you can use six different keys on the numpad. We start with a symbol object type. I think this one. Okay, and what you can do with this function is move the object within this bounding box grid. And this works with all three axes. So X, Y and of course the Z axis as you can see. So then it's easy for example to create maybe a gap between some objects. Or for example if you want to build a structure like this. So that's simple but it works fine. And as I just said you can use the following keys. So for example press 8 to move the object to the north or press 2 to move the object to the south, 6 to east, 4 to west and 7 to move the object up and 1 to move the object down. And in relation to this function it's important to know which side of the object looks to the north. And that's the reason for this tree angle. And you know this tree angle is always looking to the north in relation to the object axis. And if this tree angle is not visible, you know, then it's really difficult to find immediately the right key to move the object. Now I will show you how you can delete a single object. That's also really simple. First I create some objects here. A 
Okay, now you have simply to set the focus to the saved object you want to delete and in this state press the delete key. So that's really simple. Set the focus, so you can see the blue bounding box, hit the delete key and you see it's simple. But of course you can select a saved object by double left click so the camera is attached now and if you now hit the delete key then you switch automatically to the previous object so that's also really really nice In this connection there is a function if you for example create some objects here and now you want to delete the latest uh, saved objects then press the end key and with this function you switch automatically to the last saved object and that's this one and now you hit the delete key and again and again until you reach the position you want to start uh, with new object copies now I think it's time to show you the alternate object moving mode and that means Normally, if you want to move an object, and then you select this object, but double left click and move it around. That's okay. But if you're working with large objects, like this house, and maybe you want to move this house exactly to the edge of these objects here. So double left click the house now you can move it but if you zoom in you always zoom into the center of the house and that's not always the best position to see all the positions around the house so it's it's a little bit difficult but with this alternate uh, moving mode select the house um, it's much easier and to activate this alternate mode set the focus to the house and now press B and now as you can see the object is selected but the camera is not attached to the object and you can you can uh, move the camera to any position you want and now if you hold down the left mouse key you can move the object and then mm, it's really easy to, to find the correct position and if you press spacebar you know the object is saved at the new position and uh, it's fine and if you use this mode you have all the functions available as with uh, normal selection mode so set the focus press B and now you can rotate the object stepless or rotate the object stepwise same for the high stepless stepwise grid moving so you see you have all possibilities and of course deleting and also in this alternate uh, moving mode 
um, you can easily switch between the objects. So set the focus, press V. Now this object is selected. And if you want to select another object, simply set the focus to another object, double left click, now this object is selected. If you want to switch to the normal mode, you have first to press the space bar and then double left click and now you see the camera is attached and you working with the normal movement mode. But in this state you can switch to the alternate mode by simply press the B button and now but you cannot switch back to the normal mode so you have first to press the space bar and then double left click B. and in this alternate moving mode you can of course also copy in the objects so set the focus press B now this object is selected and if you now hit the C key then you create a copy but not along the bounding box so the copy is created exactly at the same position. So press C, create another copy, C. You know, it's easy. And press space bar to save the last object. And there is one more function available in connection to the object rotation. So how can I show you this function? I think with this object. So if you have selected an object in an alternate moving mode, press B, then you are able to rotate this selected object around another object so and for this action we have simply set the focus to the second object and now hold down the left shift key and the left mouse button and then you can rotate this object around the second object so that's also nice I think and if you set the focus for example to this object and you move the object, then you see the rotation is now around this object. And that's also working with uh, stepwise rotating. And if you copy the object, You know, you can create some crazy things.